Hi, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tasha Gandhi and today we're talking about breast lumps. It's normal to feel anxious when you find a lump, but are all lumps cancerous? Let's talk about the most common causes of breast lumps that aren't cancer. Let's start with breast cysts. Cysts are one of the most common causes of breast lumps, especially in women over the age of 35. They are fluid-filled sacs within the breast tissue and can range in size from very small to quite large. Cysts can feel soft or firm and they often fluctuate in size throughout the menstrual cycle. Some cysts can be uncomfortable, especially before your period. But the good news is they are benign and don't increase your cancer risk. Your doctor may drain the cyst if it is causing discomfort, but they often go away on their own. Remember, cysts can feel alarming because they might appear suddenly out of the blue, but they are not dangerous. Fibrocystic changes. Another cause of lumps or lumpiness is fibrocystic breast changes. This is a condition where your breasts feel lumpy, tender, or even slightly swollen, especially before your period. This happens when the breast tissue becomes dense or when it forms small fluid-filled cysts. These lumps or lumpiness often come and go with your menstrual cycle, and although they can cause discomfort, they are harmless. Again, these changes don't increase your risk of breast cancer, and managing the discomfort with pain relievers and wearing a supportive bra can help. Fibroadenomas. Now, fibroadenomas are another common type of non-cancerous breast lump, especially in younger women. These are solid, rubbery lumps that move around within the breast. Fibroadenomas are typically painless and don't increase your risk of cancer. However, your doctor may recommend removing them if they grow or cause discomfort or if they are of a certain size. Breast abscesses. Sometimes areas of the breast can get infected and if it gets into the breast tissue, abscesses can form. These are essentially deep-seated infections that can be red and painful. Abscesses can occur in and around pregnancy and during breastfeeding, and it is also common in smokers, but in fact, anyone can get an abscess. In these cases, antibiotics are usually needed to clear the infection, and sometimes the collection of pus may need to be drained a few times before it completely resolves. Lipomas. Another cause of non-cancerous breast lumps is a lipoma. A lipoma is a harmless soft lump made up of fatty tissue. In fact, you can develop lipomas almost anywhere in the body, including the breast. Lipomas are usually painless and don't increase your cancer risk. They are generally left alone unless they become large or bothersome. Fat necrosis. Sometimes, breast lumps can form after an injury, like a fall or surgery, and this is called fat necrosis. When fat cells in the breast are damaged, they can die and form a hard lump. Fat necrosis can feel firm and sometimes look concerning on imaging, but it is not cancer. If your doctor suspects fat necrosis, they may perform a biopsy to confirm it, but it is completely benign. Sclerosing adenosis. Another benign cause of breast lumps is sclerosing adenosis, and this condition involves an overgrowth of tissues in the breast lobules, which can form small, firm lumps. Sclerosing adenosis can sometimes mimic breast cancer on a mammogram, and so a biopsy is often recommended to rule out cancer. But this condition itself is benign and doesn't increase your risk of breast cancer. Papillomas. Introductal papillomas are small, wart-like growths that form in the milk ducts. They can cause lumps, but they're usually benign. Papillomas can sometimes cause nipple discharge, and they're most common in women between the ages of 35 and 55. Although they're benign, your doctor may recommend removing them to rule out any precancerous changes. Again, papillomas don't increase your overall risk of breast cancer, but normally we would remove them to be absolutely certain that nothing else might be lurking around that area. Could a lump be a cancer? Yes, of course it can. All lumps or any breast changes must be checked by a healthcare professional. However, there are also many other causes of breast lumps that are not cancerous.